Welcome back everyone, I'm your host Ryan, and today we're going to be looking at another SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z figure. Except it's not Dragon Ball Z, it's Dragon Ball Superhero, Orange Piccolo. Yeah, so I got him pre-ordered like a few months ago, it was like back in March, or April, I think it was March, late March, and fucking... Paid 85 bucks for the pre-order, and then after shipping and tax, came out to like 97.44. But the good thing about Premium Bandai is they take out the money right away. I prefer that. Um, I know, you know, some of you prefer them not taking out the money right away, but me personally, I turn off my transactions when I'm done buying things to avoid scams or anything like that. People taking money out of my shit when I don't know, I don't like it. So. I turn my transactions off. Uh, transactions off. So that being said, I really like it that they take the money out right away because then I could just turn off my transactions and not have to worry about it. They took the money, they got it, and they'll come in when it comes in. And it came in. Let's look at let's look at let's look at the box. I'm a little excited right now, so I'm tongue twisted. I'm just so happy it came in finally. I mean, I've been looking at this guy since last Comic-Con, 2022, New York Comic-Con. Uh, they had him on display, and he just looks so nice there. I took some pictures, I took some videos, but it's not the same until it's in your hands, you know? Let's look at the back images here. We got Beast Gohan and Piccolo back-to-back. -back. That looks dope. It took me a while to get used to that name. Orange Piccolo? Really? Couldn't think of anything better? But then, when I watched the movie and saw that it was actually Piccolo who came up with it, it made more sense to me. That's exactly what Piccolo would do. Like, he wouldn't care about fancy names. He would just make it as simple as possible. Is it a really, really cheesy way to explain a lazy name? Yes. Yes, it is. But it's okay, it looks amazing. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, there's this little thing that says hands and part hand parts and effect parts for the separately sewed SH Figure Arts Ultimate Gohan superhero is included. Cool. Sort of like what the figure eyes figure model kits do. Leave you extra pieces for other figures. The reflection is gonna get in the way here, but I'll do the best I can. I'm gonna open this up real soon. So it's not gonna really matter. The reflectory material for the words, for the writing, that looks great. That looks so great. And then they updated the sticker for Tamashi Nations. Now it's a little smaller, not as shiny, and it's over here in this corner. Alrighty. So that's it for the box and the price. Um. Let's get into the figure. I'm gonna open it up now. And I'm gonna use the staircase here. Do, 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 do. Okay, all right. Actually, that's a little too far back. Let's bring that closer. Doesn't need to be that far back. All right, good enough. So now, let me open it up. Ah, that's much better. Okay, so let's measure them and see how much taller he is than the regular Piccolo. Uh, forgive the background, my, my dog Bulla is upset because my girlfriend just left the house. She has uh, abandonment issues even though we never abandoned her. The hell is that about? Shih Tzu Terriers, what can I tell you? Um, so about eight inches tall, a little over eight inches tall, and then about four inches wide, a little, little under four inches wide, about a four inches wide, we'll just say four inches wide. Now, I haven't taken, the, oh, sh I should, I forgot, I gotta take these out. Let's take out the plastic cellophane I think I did that right you want to make sure you get that in one shot because sometimes there's little leftover pieces 
all right get that out of here and let's look at piccolo holy crizap the attention to detail here is incredible Like the, oh, wow, okay. So that's how the head comes off. We have interchangeable heads. The base one. And then those three, which we'll look at close up shortly. Easy removal, easy attaching. I like it. Holy crap, well, before we get into articulation, let's just look at the figure for a while. I mean, these arms look great. The paint is on point. I don't see any like fuck ups on the paint. Maybe a little bit up there. Was, could have been done a little better on the edges there, but that's like nitty picky stuff. I don't care. You're not seeing it from far away. Look at that. That looks amazing. This looks really good. Ah, uh, what's that? Oh, it's a mark that comes off. Thank God. Yay. Look at that logo on the back. This is awesome. I love it. These triceps, really high definition on them, as well as the, the wrist muscles, like the forearm muscles. Holy crap. All right. Let's do articulation. That's him looking all the way down. Get him standing up straight. All right, let's back him up a little bit so you can see his feet. And then him looking up. leaving his head on. That's him looking up. Head range is decent, kind of limited. And you know, a lot of the head range is coming from the neck. Like, so it's really whatever that neck is gonna be able to do because this, is, this isn't happening. What that's doing, Let me try. Yeah, it's because it's hitting the back of the neck. So that's as far up as he's gonna look. And that's okay. Not a big deal. You know, articulation is always really good for these figures, but what I really like what they did here is the matching up. So when the arm is opened up, that lines up. And when it closes, you don't see that at all. So you don't have to worry about it not lining up. That is a little awkward there, but not too bad. Not too bad. It is an action figure. Can't be perfect. Can't look exactly the same, you know? But it comes close. Yeah, articulation is really good on these. Let's see. I'm all the way out. I'm all the way out. Spinning piss. No, I'm sorry. Spinning piss. Oh man, that's nasty. I was gonna say spinning fist, but I said it with a P first. So, yeah, that's not a good move. I don't want to ever see that Dragon Ball move. Spinning piss move. Go. That sounds like something fucking Gotenk Super Saiyan three would come up with. Like the crazy freaking moves that that fusion kid came up with. All right. Let's do legs here. Whoa. Good. Very good. I like it. Ankle, not so much. It's limited. But sides are not. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, maybe that, that side not so good. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, 
clean out. What I want to know right now is, can he actually stand on that toe? Yep, he can. That's crazy. That's good balance. That's really good balance. It's not realistic position. I'm just trying to see if it'll hold the weight with that toe, and it does. Let's look at some orange piccolo crotch. Yeah, articulation on the legs is really well done. Like the hinges are really good. They hold the weight. They're not like loose and flimsy. They hold their position. Really good. And we did the arms already, right? So let's look at the abdomen crunch here. And now we're going to have him bend over, yo. Bend over, yo. Oh, pause, yo. Pause. What kind of reviews you doing? Um, that's him looking down. App crunch is not that great. I guess if you bend at the legs, yeah. But what I'm looking for is the top part. To bend down and that's it that's all he's got and then that's about it going back so limited on the torso articulation bending forward and back Honestly, though, this is one of the best-looking figures that they've ever made. Like, this looks really good. Some of the things bothering me right now is visually the gaps between the neck because of the angles. Like, I have to keep them on... Yeah, I guess that's all right. That's not too bad. You know, it feels like there's stuff going on under here. I just, I can't see under there without taking it off. But they, they detailed everything under there. Like, he's got his abs, and they're painted. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you that, but I'll try. Yeah. Well, it's all still crafted and painted underneath the clothes so that's good the top part at least because this is like a rubbery part to go over overlaps it balance seems very good okay let's bring them closer and let's look at the accessories we have three different heads here. We got smiling face, orange piccolo, with no teeth, just smiling lips. A smirk, if you will. Detailed everywhere. Well, not everywhere, it's just the, the places that matter. So it looks good. Ears look good. Antennas look good. It's like a stiff, different plastic material from the, from the face I'm noticing. It's like shinier too. It doesn't feel flimsy. And we have the 
you know, teeth grinding face. Sorry about the shaky cheese hands. And then we have the yelling face. This one I love. Oh, special beam cannon. Orange style. All right, so we got open palm hands with his nails done. He got his nails done. Yeah, queen. Get them done every weekend. You know, you know. Check it out. And then we got, like, about to grab a fist or, like, somewhat. They're still open palm hands, but, like, looks like he's about to grab somebody. <laughs> Do, like, the evil. Excellent. Excellent. Or uh, shooting a blast. Oh, these are the other hands. Uh, these are like the hands from uh, Star Fox. Andros? Star Fox 64? Never mind. Never mind. I'm old. I'm old. Star Fox 64. N64. It's an old video game system that, you know, you put cartridges in instead of nothing. <laughs> instead of downloading it all the time. These are from Gohan. These are the extra parts they were talking about for the, the ultimate Gohan. And they have the attachments there for the blasts. Which I would have appreciated maybe having one of these for Piccolo, but guess not. The color they used for the, the ball, the energy blast, the energy ball. Really nice, like a fluorescent blue. I think it's blue. Which means it's probably purple, right? <laughs> um, and then they have these little power blast attachments that go inside. That you, you know, if you've collected SH figure arts before, you're no stranger to these. You find the spot that they fit in, and you place them in. And this is supposed to be simulating the uh, energy blasts. All right, now you just put them all in and it ends up looking like the energy blast. And then you put the one peg that's meant for the hand right there into the hand. And then with all the others coming out, shutting out, I'm not gonna put them all on right now, I'm really not. You get the picture. Now, let's do a little size comparison here, or just figure comparison in general. We have Orange Piccolo from SH Figure Arts, but then we also have Piccolo from Figure Eyes. Now, unfortunately, I do not have another SH Figure Arts Piccolo to compare to, because this is the first Piccolo I ever got, believe it or not. Um, I felt type of ways about the piccolos that have come out from sh figure arts uh the recent one wasn't so bad the one before this so i may get him and he's basically the same from the same movie it's just he's not orange but um as far as like the piccolo we know and love with the whole outfit that we got used to figure eyes and dragon stars are the only ones i have i didn't take out the dragon stars one because honestly it's in a spot that would just domino effect everything else, just not worth it for me. So I got a figure eyes here instead to do a little comparison. And you know, figure eyes are usually the taller ones, the bigger figures, especially from figure eyes, right? Compared to SH figure arts, they're freaking huge, but not in this case. <laughs> in this case, the SH figure arts is way bigger than the, the figure eyes, and that's a good thing that's supposed to be like that because it would it would be bad if it was the other way around like like the uh sh figure arts brawly from the super movie brawly super um that figure is actually smaller just a little bit smaller than the brawly from figure eyes so this is this is saying something this is pretty crazy
you know, it's, it's not just saying different figures and better quality, but also showing how much stronger he has become thanks to Shenron unlocking his uh, inner abilities, which, you know, why didn't they do that in Z? Why did they wait till Super? Because it's bullshit and they're trying to cover it up. All right. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is pretty much it for the comparison. I don't really have much else to show, but as you can see, it's like, it is the Piccolo we know, just a little different. A lot of people don't like the orange. They prefer the green. People prefer this Piccolo. I don't mind it. You know what would have been awesome? If we got like a little mix in between. Like I want to see this Piccolo now wearing these clothes. Yep, I want to see that. And he would have to come up with armor that's so much heavier now because this would be super light to him now. I mean, it probably already is. He's just gotten used to the weight. Let's do some different heads. Sure that part is level you saw what i just went through you want to make sure this part here is level if it's dipped down like that it's going to be a little more pain in the ass to get them on much easier when they're level these black smudge marks where are they coming from That's not a black smudge mark. That's just a freckle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. Got a freckle right there above his right ear. So, yeah. This face looks good too. I like the detail of the, like the cheeks here and the lips. And the antenna's going up, basically being like a Super Saiyan with the hair going up, but he's not a Super Saiyan because he's a Namekian, so they have to come up with something else. They're like, well, he's got antennas, make his antennas go up. And I don't mind it. It seems a little like gimmicky, to be honest with you, but I don't mind it. It's, it's pretty dope, to be honest with you. Like, why wouldn't they be going up if he's got all that power? So many, that's what she said jokes to be made about his antenna too, right? Like, I don't know. Off the top of my head, all I can come up with is this Viagra for antennas. You know? Anyway, always got to say something weird doing these reviews. You know me, you know me. Not enough to have piss attacks. We got to talk about erect antennas. Yep, welcome to my channel. Anyway. Um, this is the face I think I'm going to leave on him for the end of the review. And maybe this is the face I use for my thumbnail too, because as I've told many of you before, usually the last pose you see or the last face you see on the figure I do in the review is what I go with in the thumbnail. And the reason I do that is to make sure you see what you're seeing in the thumbnail in the video. Don't you hate those YouTube videos that show you these really cool thumbnail images and then you watch this entire fucking video, whether it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever, and you don't see that image come up once. You don't see anything related to that image come up once. Well, I don't do that. I give you what you see in the thumbnail always in my videos, whether it's towards the end or the beginning or not, that's something different, but you get it. And that's the point. I am going to end this review now. I hope you enjoyed watching. This is pretty much it for SH Figure Arts Piccolo, Orange Piccolo. If you like what you're seeing, check them out. I'm going to leave links 
Well, I'll leave the main link that I got him from, Premium Bandai, but for whatever reason it's sold out, I will try to find other retail links, but just know uh, they're not gonna be charging what freaking Premium Bandai was charging. Like I already know for sure that, I haven't even checked yet, but I'm betting that Big Bad Toy Store is gonna sell it for like a buck 30 maybe, or a buck 20. I don't know, I'm guessing right now, I will check. I'm totally serious too, I have not, I have not looked. So, but I know Big Bad Toy Store and I know they're bullshit. They flip freaking premium Bandai figures so much, it's crazy and I get it, they need to get their money. I understand it. I'm not really trying to price bash, but I am. I'm price bashing. Their prices suck when it comes to premium Bandai figures. SH Figure Arts especially, Dragon Ball Z especially. Like, they always freaking try to flip it up. Anyway. I'm talking about all this Dragon Ball stuff, but as you can see, I'm showing you Avatar Last Airbender figures. And that's because I found these at Five Below for five bucks each. And these are from fucking McFarlane Toys. I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. So I got them. Uh, do I collect Air Last Airbender? No, I do not. But my girlfriend loves the show. So I kind of got her into collecting. So it's my fault. Now I got to buy a whole nother line just because I got her into the ship. She was okay with the show, but I had to show her toys. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Check me out tomorrow. We're going to be looking at Last Airbender, Avatar Last Airbender figures from McFarlane Toys. Check them out. Thanks for watching and peace, peace.